where the incident happened on August 10, 2012. It was uh, around the uh, afternoon time frame for the Marines uh, usually went to go work out in the gym. Every evening they usually worked out with their Afghan counterparts. On that day, uh, it's like six Marines were actually in the gym. Uh, the shooter uh, obtained a stack of rifles from the policeman and went down the side of the compound by the walls, which was concealed by several vehicles that were parked up there, and uh, came right up on the gym between open open fire. They're inside that compound. It looked like he took well-aimed shots, uh, used proper technique in firing. It did seem, it appeared that he did have some training prior to the incident. After he shot three Marines, he ran up to one of the guard towers trying to uh, coerce the uh, Afghan National Police to join in his, uh, his shooting rampage. And uh, after that, uh, one of the policemen disarmed the individual. Green and blue attacks have been happening across Afghanistan, and there's one here at Fob Delhi. And you know the fact that there was one here has caused us to definitely take some measures to protect against future attacks, to keep our guys safe while they're living here at Fob Delhi. You know, it's something that, as an organization, we're just always prepared for now. They had a round uh, 110. There's uh, three guys, um, about 500 meters off my post, and the bird. I can't tell, but it looks like one has some in his hands. I'll copy. With the added threat of the green and blue attacks it has definitely uh, distanced uh, us and, and the Afghans. Put, put a barrier between us, definitely put a distance between us. Security measures we have implemented cause us to keep each other at an arm's distance. There was a friendship between the Marines and Afghan forces, and we had a very good relationship. Since the incident, security has increased. But the relationship is getting stronger now. It was very upsetting. I hope that nothing like this happens again. Uh, when I heard about the incident, it was really disappointing and sad news, not only for me, but for all our leaders, commanders, and for the Afghan people. When members of the ANA and ANP are recruited into the force, it is the recruiter's job to perform the proper background checks. If somebody is wearing our uniform, we think he is a friend, but he could be the enemy. The road to victory here is the reliance with trust in between ISAF forces and ANSAF forces. We, we will persevere through this and our trust will be stronger than ever. We have to show the uh, enemy that we're here until the job is done. <laughs>